Gorgeous people, our team got welcome to another episode of hashtag Gaw TV. Thanks for being here. Yeah. I've got my ladies in tow, the beautiful Mickey James. How are we feeling? So good, so good. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa how are you? I'm doing great. I just want to say you look fabulous on the Legends um episode. Oh my god, stunning. Oh it my was god. The hat. It was the, the hat. hat and the shirt and everything. We have oh, to mention this, it. you guys. I mean, as if you're, I mean, you're not living under a rock. Of course you saw Mickey James, who we now need to refer to as the legend Mickey James. We're in the presence of a legend, ladies and gentlemen. Can we talk quickly about the outfit? Because we talk every day, all day. Yes. And okay. I said, who gave you permission to look that damn fabulous <laughs> on television? Walk us through your style process because OMG. Oh my God. I love you. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Um, well, Joaquin's actually sent me that outfit a long time, like a while back ago. Remember when I was doing the uh, commentary for main event and stuff like that. And then plus just doing, going to events and stuff, but I've had nowhere to wear that outfit. And I've just been sitting there going, well, we can't go out, have zero reason to wear this. And I'm not just good. I'm not like you, Val. Val will wear that outfit to the grocery store and rock the shit out of it. I, you look this so beautiful. This is me picking right apples. Now. This is me you look picking like a darn Grecian goddess. Like a little, you belong yes. on, like, in Athens right now. Yeah. But those totally. shoes. Can I tell you those shoes actually were pants. They were like pants shoes. They're pretty little thing. They're the boots that go all the way up, you wear them like pants, and that was the one, the top underneath of it, but it was like boot oh shoes. Oh my God, shoot, that's so boot, cool. Boot, boot pants. Shoots? Shoot pants. Who's shooting? Boot. She's, she's, boots. So she was a boot. Lulu, my credit to Joaquin, um, but absolutely. Thank you, Joaquin. Awesome. But it was yeah. Lulu's, my hat was Lulu's, um, and the hat was Lulu's, and, the, and like the accessories, but the top, it was pretty little thing. Now, oh the you, well, you look thing. like a pretty little thing. It was the top thing. and the hat was Lulu's and the pants were a pretty little thing. I don't know. Oh my God. You looked like so a pretty cool. little legend. It was so, so oh styled God. up, Gorgeous. so fashion forward. Cheers to Mickey. We were so, Cheers. so proud to see that. We would have been proud to see you in anything, but I could not believe how you. amazing you looked. We love you. I love you. Cheers I love to you that. too. We love Thanks, it. babe. I had the side-by-sides with the Mountie, you know, <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> Who wore it better? <laughs> I know. But in like yeah, a good way, yeah. in a fabulous way. Lisa, how are you doing? We'll get to what we're wearing and drinking as we have someone joining us. But how are you doing, Lisa? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I just was rushing back. All of us were rushing to get this show today, right? You know, I just got back from um, the store and I bought myself a recumbent bike. Um, cool. My elevator went out. My elevator went out. And I uh, live only on the fifth floor. And I'm blown up taking five flights. Oh, my God. And I was like, this is pathetic. I need to go. I need, what the hell? So That's I got a recumbent bike. It's still in the box though. Yeah. So we'll I see. love that we're we'll like exercise later. bikes as if mm -hmm. we're like 80 year olds. I don't know. I just think it's cool. We're, we're, we're yeah. on the same page with that. Well, before we begin the show, we want to remind you to do us a favor and make sure that you like this video. Give us a thumbs up, please, if you yeah. wouldn't mind. Uh, definitely make sure that you are subscribed to this show so you don't miss any of the fun we're having here on Gaw TV. And finally, please click the bell icon to enable notifications so you never miss a future episode. And we won't give anything away, no spoilers here, but our 2021 schedule thus far is star-studded. Absolutely star-studded. You guys are going to love it. Uh, and speaking of things to love, we want to give a lot of love to our Patreon members, our top tier members on patreon.com slash gawtv who are so wonderful to support us. We want to give specific shout outs to our hashtag gorgeous members. Oh. oh yes. These are the, this is the cream of the crop, you guys. We appreciate everyone who supports us, but these are our top tier members. We're talking Anthony, Remy, all the way in France. We've got the wonderful Wayne who is uh, coming at us from the UK. He's here in England where I am. And of course, Mickey D who's all Mickey the way D. from Australia. Rocking that goon bag. I hope you're drinking tonight, Mickey. <laughs> he loves yeah. a good goon bag. To goon bags, to goon bags Mickey. To goon bags. Gosh, I love a good goon bag. But uh, yeah, all of our Patreon people, we love them all. But the top tier, we want to give some special love to. And if you go to patreon.com slash gawtv, you can see all of the rewards that include early access to episodes, bonus footage that you're only going to see on Patreon, photo shoots with us, live chats, and more. So much more. Oh. 
So exciting. So So amazing. You know what else I'm excited about is our new podcast, The Gawcast. (laughs) With a huge thanks to like Ella, who obviously, what is her, she has her own podcast, a wrestling gal. So she's mm-hmm. been able to help us and partner with us and to get our podcast off the ground. So yes. I'm so excited yes. because all these episodes that people have sat down and committed and watched now, when you're driving in your car or just, you know, whatever, and you need it in audio form because you can't get enough of us. Yeah. There it is. Exactly. Put that exactly. in your hole. Basically, Put it right in there. Yeah. We're already, we're already in your head. Now we're going to be in your ears. Yes. Why did I make that creepy? I don't know, but she's right. It's a new <laughs> way to experience Gaw TV in audio format. And of course, all the links are going to be in the YouTube description where everything you need to know, it's always in the YouTube description, including our store, personal stores, and of course, Gaw TV, the store where you can rep all of our very cool merch. A lot of you guys have been sending selfies. Please keep them coming. Selfies in our yes. Gaw merch or with we our mugs. It. Pillows, as you can see, cheap plug. We love that. Well, Lisa. I know that we are so excited to get to our guest tonight because she's uh, someone that holds a very special place in all of our hearts, but especially you two. You, I'm sure you have some Oh my stories. gosh. Yeah, she is amazing. I remember meeting her first time when she went to OVW and I was so intimidated by her. I was like, oh my God, you know, and I, of course she still calls me crazy and stuff like that, but she's the one that taught me how to lead in a match, like be the heel and lead and how like when I'm in the matches, a lot of people don't know this is like, you know, when jazz is beating you up and stuff like that, you all right, baby, you all right, let's get up, let's go right, okay, baby, you stay here. <laughs> and I started doing that when I was wrestling Barbie, I go, take a deep breath, okay, babe, I'm coming back, I'm coming back for you, okay? Oh, I all love right, that. you ready, you ready? Yeah. You know, like to make you soothing, it's like, you know, uh, she's amazing and just, she's a legend in herself, you know what I mean? Yeah. And she's uh, I, I, such an inspiration in wrestling. I love honestly you so much she is so an absolute badass and respect and you she really is the legitimate of a badass and i think a badass in a time that it wasn't cool to be a badass it wasn't right. like, that's not what people women aspire to really be like she always wanted to be a badass like and be better yeah. than the boys which i love that so much well she certainly yeah, accomplished yeah. that and i remember watching her and just thinking wow this is a tough chick but i love hearing stories like that that she was she was a soothing badass someone that always yeah. had yes. her back. <laughs> and when you meet her she she we talked about this on the last show actually that sometimes when someone is a heel or they're this tough character they usually are like the nicest sweetest people and even when my husband met her he was like she is lovely and she really is yeah. so we're she excited is. for you guys to meet her because obviously we're feeling the love but we want to welcome her officially onto the grown-ass women show so ladies and gentlemen please welcome jazz What's up, Lay? What's up, Lay? We're so happy that you're here. Yes. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! We were <laughs> so just talking about you. like we, we yeah. <laughs> we were we are just talking about you, um, Jazz. Like I remember when you came to OVW, you were the one that taught me how to lead a match and how to make your opponent felt comfortable. Like because you would always go like, "All right, baby, you okay, baby? Come on, all right, get up, yeah. all right, all right, fight back, fight <laughs> like back." That. Yeah. I, yeah, I, so. I, yeah, I saw that. I saw that video you post. I was like, look at Lisa Marie trying to do a jazz impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> but I have you, Lisa. I got you down pat. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. She was literally just doing that before you got on here. That is uncanny. <laughs> I know. I know. I like it. We were referring to you as a soothing badass because we have a theory here on Gaw TV and in life that. We feel like the ones on TV that are kind of the toughest ones and they're like the badasses and rah, you know, they're tough. In person, they're actually some of the sweetest, nicest people you'll ever meet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I never really consider myself this tough badass, you know. I, I, I think you're really tough as hell. Myself. Or your character. Are you serious? <laughs> I think her character was always, I think your character was always portrayed as a badass and a strong oh, yeah. woman. As like saying like it was in a time when it wasn't like, in vogue to be a badass you know what I yeah. mean very in vogue to be beautiful and dainty and cute and all these other things and you're like no I will and I up. didn't fit that mold at all so yeah <laughs> I love it but they're often the nicest guys where it's the baby faces such as myself that are the assholes yeah oh totally <laughs> yeah you're the worst <laughs> said, yeah. you know, I think like going back like I think Fit Finley had a lot to do with like us accepting our characters and going no you're a badass you're like okay, okay, I'm okay. And he would have to tell us, no, no, you're freaking tough out there. And he has to right, brainwash us to believe that we are that persona. 
right? Yeah. One, I forget what match it was. But um, after the match, I guess I wasn't after, I guess I wasn't vicious enough. I, I don't know. I, maybe I've, you know, I've had a, a bad night or off night or whatever. But he was like, follow me. So he took me into freaking catering. And then when he walked in, he just started flipping tables and throwing chairs. And the people in catering was like running and hauling ass. And he was like, you see, you see those people reactions? I was like, yeah. He was like, that's what I wanted. And I'm like, wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I had no clue. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. I thought I left these. Yeah. Scenes. I love it was the weird just to see cake. it just go ain't shit like that, you know? Yeah. But it was cool. Yeah. Because he's so calm. Yeah. He's such a calm guy. Very laid he's back. He's very calm. So, but I don't think people realize yes. how tough of a man he really is who fit. Like he was so calm with us and patient, I think as females. And he was literally the only one that was willing to take the females on, honestly, because it was a, it's a lot to deal with our It's lives. a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> so he, I, <laughs> yes. God, <laughs> like, God bless him. I yeah, know. but Fit was awesome. He, yeah, very, very patient. He had the most patience I've ever seen, honestly. He's yeah. great. Well, if yeah, I can great. ask, we love walking down memory lane and talking about, you know, how people came up in the business, but we, we tend to get very annoyed at all these interviews that ask the same questions, like, how did you get into wrestling, this and that. But I have to know, like, as you're talking about Fit Finley, he has a very, very, I would, in my opinion, stellar reputation. Whenever you ask anybody about him, they'll say, oh, my God, he was an amazing, uh, you know, mentor to me and all that. Other than Fit Finley, who are some people that you loved working with in the business that sort of shaped who you are now? Wow, you know, um, I always have to give credit to Paul Lee <laughs> from the ECW yeah. days. He was just, he knew he knew who I was before I recognized who I was, you know? So mm -hmm. he just, you know, he was just, he had this way of uh, pulling things out of you that you just, I guess, is so deep down and, and he's just, Brilliant. Uh, that's the only thing I can say about him. Just brilliant, man. Yeah, Fit, uh, Paul yeah. Lee was the man. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I definitely think we he, talk highly And of course, him. Dreamer, you know, but Dreamer's everybody's big brother, you know. Yeah, Dreamer's big brother. <laughs> I think, too, it's like the way Paul will speak to you. He has such, like, passion. And yeah. it's just, he could, like, literally, I think he could get, like, a maggot to try to take on a, an ox and think it yeah, was... Yeah, like, for real. Because he has that a conviction to be able to speak to you and really make you, like, tap into some stuff that you had, like, he fires you up. Like, he could have been, like, the biggest, like, football coach or some type of other thing. I know, I really right? Think that he has that gift to be able to inspire people on those moments to just to get the best out of them too like yeah yes yeah. yes you guys sheldon sheldon love you guys sheldon. <laughs> you guys you guys <laughs> you guys you guys they just love paul Heyman so much they heard his I name got, and they got very yeah. no yeah. but i think like paul we have used the word brilliant and a genius in this industry you know it's yeah. just it's just part of him like he is oh, i get I, it I yeah him. you're I right David, yeah. say hi to Jess. Well, hello, Hi, Jess. Guys. Hi, guys. Hi. hi. We love a cameo, <laughs> David. Yes. Congratulations <laughs> on your new bicycle. <laughs> Not mine, it's Lisa's. I got a new recumbent bike. Um, Jazz, I was walking up five flights of stairs, and I got blown up. I, I, I heard like, that yesterday. She's, going, yeah. she's like, oh, my, oh, my legs. Oh. Yeah, this is bad. That's but, bad. Believe oh, me. Ever since Lisa and I met, she has said nothing but the most, you know, she's like, Jazz, Jazz, she's my inspiration. <laughs> I mean, when I got WWE, and it was so funny, not too long ago, I was, wa I was watching this uh, documentary on WWE, and I go, Lisa, I think the gal Jazz that you speak of like walked by uh, behind Vince McMahon. I go, she really short. Did and, she do this? Well, she was doing something, <laughs> we were doing something so it had to have been you. But she she can't yeah. speak highly enough of what yeah. you've done for it's her. True. It's true. Oh, well, thank oh, you. That. Thank you. It is, it's true. Thank it's you. very true. 
Yes. yes. Love you, Lise. <laughs> <Don't laughs> no, we you. love that. That's so sweet. No. Back to Paul Heyman. I never got to work with him, unfortunately, in any sort of wrestling capacity, but I did get to shoot for his website, which I was just fangirling over. And I thought, you know, oh my God, this is a huge opportunity. And I'm such a fan of his work and what he's contributed to the business and, and was very nervous to meet him. But for the shoot, I needed to have his number in my phone. And to this day, whenever I type the, the name Paul Heyman on my phone, it comes up in all caps because I thought so much of him that I thought he's above and beyond lowercase letters. His entire name needs to be, <laughs> yeah. so it's like shouting <laughs> yeah. Paul Heyman. I can't yeah. even tweet about him without it saying it in all caps because I just thought he's on another level. He needs like, all, yeah. all the caps. Paul Heyman? Is it Mr. Paul Heyman? You think so? I, I think it's just Paul Heyman. Yeah. Don't call me Paul. I was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Love him. He yeah, him. yeah. I gotta say this yeah. is the whole name, Paul Heyman. Yeah. <laughs> when I started at ECW, I believe the first match I had with Jason, before the match, he comes up to us and he tells Jason to go out there and beat the living shit out of me. Like, do not treat her like a girl. I want you to go out there and beat the living shit out of her. And I'm like, um, standing right here, you know, I already got <laughs> butterflies. I'm about to shit myself. But you know. <laughs> Try to remember all the spots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, Do you remember uh, like the but, bad nervous belly? Remember the bad nervous belly we would all get, right? We're yes. all like, oh my God, my stomach, my stomach. Oh my God, we're up next. Can I go to the bathroom? I don't think I have time. Uh-oh, right? Yes. That was so awful. Awful, yeah. right, Mickey? Like we were like, I don't get over. the nervous belly like that. You don't? I don't. Really? I, mean, I did bad. in the beginning. There's that. I have to pee literally like it's, I always feel like as soon as my music hits, all of a sudden I have to take yeah. it. But I do, it's like that. And then I feel there's been a number of times that I am like racing back to Gorilla because I knew that if I went out there, whatever bump I was going to take, whether it was, it was like a hair reel off the top, it could have been out. something <laughs> yeah. was going to happen. So <laughs> yeah. I risked it for the biscuit for the sake of the people and for the sake of my opponent. But, there you go. <laughs> yes, I, I would get sisters, that too. You're like, my ears are wet. What's happening? Everyone, <laughs> everyone handles nerves in different ways, for sure. But Jazz, I have to ask you. So this is a crazy time we're living in. How has uh, how has the pandemic and lockdown been affecting you? Have you been just home chilling, or how how's it been for you? Basically, home chilling. Um, you know, I I I put out that I was retiring. I was trying to do a 2020 retirement, but the pandemic slowed that down. So um, yeah, I, I sat back and got, you know, healthy and fat and uh, <laughs> was enjoying life, eating eating ice cream, you know, red velvet ice cream every day, every night, you know, it was. <laughs> Hell yeah. It was great. I've yeah. not had the red velvet ice cream. I've never even heard of it. Who makes that? Ben and Jerry's? Oh, wow. Yes. Is it that good? No. Is it uh, uh, Red Velvet Summer? Is it Blue Bonnet or, I don't know, uh, Walmart carries it. So check out oh, Walmart. Oh, okay. We love Walmart. Oh, my God. Blue Bonnet. That was like, that's like from my childhood. I grew up in Texas. So like Blue yeah. Bonnet, I, I couldn't get many different places. I, I love believe it's Blue Bonnet. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we do something on the show, Jazz, that we, uh, we ask each other, <laughs> who are you wearing and what are you drinking? So we describe our outfit. And we describe what we're imbibing on, or if you're having a tea, whatever you, you prefer. But who are you wearing, Jazz, and what are you drinking? Give us the rundown. I'm wearing a, I'm wearing a comfy little pink um, suit uh, purchased at Ross. Woo! I'm drinking Nestle Pure Life water. I wanted wine, but I have to take my girls to a sleepover as soon as I'm done with this. Oh, so, so fun. I can't drink and drive. So what's, you know, what's your wine of like, choice? Oh, what's your drink of choice when you I do it have a glass on a of little wine with the girls. I know. It's okay. Any red wine, honestly. Uh, I don't like it sweet, sweet, you know, but a little semi-sweet. Mm. Yeah. But I'll drink so whatever. Have a hot as long date as night night do you guys have a hot date? No, night? girl. He's He's out of town training some guys. So it's just me and his mom going to be here tonight. And we're going to sit back and watch movies. Uh -huh. And probably then I drink a glass of wine. Yes. We'll have to call yeah. you back. We'll call you back and FaceTime later. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll do an after yeah. show. We'll get sloshed. I love it. Lisa, can we go next to you? Because I'm loving your glasses tonight. You look very studious. Ooh. I just, okay. These are not anti-glare. These are Betsy 
Johnson. I got it at Ross. You get two pair for $9.99. Usually you get three pair for $9.99. Three. But I said, I splurged because I like this other glasses I have. The ones that are leopard print. Do you know what I'm talking about? These ones that came with these. They're so cute. Yeah. Oh, those are cute too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but um, I never yeah. see two I, glasses I like, Ross. like that when I'm at Ross. Betsy Johnson, you gotta go buy glasses like that. Really? It's sometimes like when you're um, on the way. Also, you know who else? TJ Maxx. On the way out in the line, you know how they get you on the way out, those long lines? They have the glasses yeah. hidden there in the boxes. <laughs> they call that boxes. an impulse purchase. And apparently, I have a lot of impulses because I'm always like, oh, I didn't know I needed this. I need this. I need this notebook. Yeah, I need yeah. To I list, use, right. I the grocery list on. I'm like, I don't know why. I just uh, yeah, yeah. Place. That's that's the Dollar Tree for me, you guys. The Dollar Tree is <laughs> the Dollar Tree. I love my Dollar Tree 99 cents. You get your, oh my God. your needle and thread while you're standing in line. You know, <laughs> oh, needle and thread. Oh God, yes, I need that. I need that. <laughs> Crochet myself a doily. <laughs> Essential items for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, oh my of course, my baby, she's had this stuffed animal since she was probably two years old, and she calls him Bolo, and girl, he's he's lost one eye, half a nose, an ear, he was in a fire, he survived all this, so we, we constantly have to stitch him up, Bolo. so that's why I have to he's keep nailing threads. YOLO, Bolo. 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 That's <laughs> so cute. I love that. Lizzie, you didn't mention what you're drinking tonight. What do you, what do you, uh. What's your life? Um, I'm out of my, my fresh fine wine. So I got Coastal Estates um, Cabernet. It was um, two for eight bucks at CBS on the bottom shelf. Always look at the bottom shelf. Those are the two first. Mickey they got, loves her. They got that orange sticker on them. You know, you're really doing it. Yeah. I'm just working when just, I was in a rush today to get back home. I'm just wearing my normal workout, just my tank top. And I did a bun. I was going to wear my um, two puffs like that. And I would I was going to sing to jazz. Rough, rough and stuff with my Afro puffs. Yeah, rock on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I'm bald. You remember? <laughs> I love it. I like it. I do too. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> I not love everybody it. can pull that off. You got a beautiful head. I could never. I'm too lumpy and naughty on the backside. I'm like, no. My God. I, got, I, probably I, I don't want to know what's under there. Benjamin Button. <laughs> Benjamin Button. <laughs> I'm saving money. I'm saving money, I tell you that much. Oh, yeah. And time oh, in your yeah. routine, right? You don't have to worry about it. Yeah. No more weaves. <laughs> Unbelievable. The, itchy, the itchiness, like taking the pen and yeah, scratching yeah. in there. <laughs> yeah. I never had extensions or anything, so I didn't know, but I would see y'all. Oh, it was awful. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, you find an ink pen or anything. The uh, yes. <laughs> Nikki, what are you uh what are you drinking tonight and who are you wearing? Well, I told you guys, so I just got to Richmond because we just drove. We bought a house jazz outside of Nashville and you got you guys gotta come visit us once we get settled in. But so we're back here in Virginia. We just got back yeah. here. here to get back because we got a bunch of stuff in storage and I got some stuff strung pretty much all over the state of Virginia at this point, but I got some stuff at my mom's house and then I have my stuff here at my brother-in-law's house. Who This is when we come back in town, we stay here or whatever. So we've got the U-Haul. We're loading all this stuff up from the storage so we can go move into our new house that we just are gone. So it's a it's a beautiful home. It's Aww, yeah, congratulations. So I, I walked in the door here at my brother brother-in-law Dom's house, and I had this bottle of wine that clearly I'd opened. This is Josh Sellers. Josh. Um, yes, a little Cabernet Sauvignon. Which I love, Cap's my favorite, but I yeah, it yeah, probably a month ago yeah. and drank half of it and then left the rest of it sitting there. So it's been open. Did you taste it, Mickey? Did you uh -huh. did you taste it? Is it bad? Um, it could possibly be burnt, but I feel like my mouth is burnt because I've drank ten thousand <laughs> cups of coffee on the way here. <laughs> So That's my taste buds may be all jacked up anyway. But did you taste it yet? Because we might have to do a taste test on camera right now because we're oh, for the burn we were real worried it's gonna be you haven't, taken, you haven't even taken you haven't even taken a sip uh dude oh yeah like, you have been drinking oh, it's not that bad look oh. i'm country i don't care as long as it's not i don't like beer but i can figure it out and i it's once you get past the first three sips it's all fine 
Yeah, I'm yeah. with you. Like my mama didn't raise exactly. me to so just like like That's not first. the rest of the wine unless it's gonna hurt me. <laughs> yeah, <that's Right. laughs> Once you get that first one down and you're like, okay, that's what I'm committed to. It starts to, to taste better. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's fine. So it's not I'm bad not. actually. Yeah, it's oh, all the same. I'm not wearing, the first one. Because we've been traveling, I'm wearing this sweatshirt, this cocktails and coconuts. I'm wearing my mom jeans. Uh, mom high jeans. Ones, you know? Get nice coconuts. Nice cheese. co. Nice coconuts. <laughs> but what I'm really excited about are these boots, y'all. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Those are badass. I like those. Those are badass. I know. I'm so excited about these boots. Oh, man. I like those. I just spilled wine on the floor. Yeah, these oh, you are did. Perfect. They just sent them to me. I'm going to show you guys a picture of a little thing. They sent these to me. They sent me a pair last year, and they sent me this, these for Christmas. So I had a booty pair that I wore forever. And, they and which brand? Me. What what brand are they? Freebird. More Freebird. Did I send, the Steven. Did I send you that? Did I send you that link like a couple years ago, saying, "Oh my God, all these clothes remind me of you." These do you they only do boots, and it's called by oh. Steven. So I'm I'm gonna send you guys the link. I'll send the link and send so all the tags because <laughs> yeah. all their boots are incredible and they last forever and they're built like they're so durable and comfortable. Once you like, I still have my booties and they're amazing. They're good quality boots. Wow. They're so comfy and they're snazzy. They look so I can rock my mom jeans and, and I can I like them. <laughs> we love, I we want love them. them. I couldn't yes. care less, Val. We couldn't. Well, we were talking about this on Boxer. People, what are you wearing them. though? I told you, you look like a darn Grecian. Yeah. Goddess. Well, Grecian thanks. Goddess. you know what? So we have this conversation quite a bit. So, Jazz, when we started the show, we have a slumber party thing. That's exactly what we're doing here. It's a slumber party, but we kind of. We were wearing a lot of pajamas and robes and things. And like after episode like 33, I was like, listen, we're gonna have to change it up a little bit. You know, even I don't have 35 robes. Okay, I do. But anyway, yeah. um, <laughs> I, I, I love this, this brand called Nasty Gal. Don't love the name actually, but I love the brand Nasty Gal. Uh, found this Nasty Gal via eBay. I love a bargain, just like Lisa. I love a, what do you call it? Bottom shelf bargain? That's a hashtag. Bottom oh, shelf. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Bottom shelf bargain. Yeah. But yeah. I said, okay, so it's green. Bottom I'm shelf. Bottom green. Yeah, bottom shelf. Um, I love wearing green. I love that it was very renaissance -y. Actually, it's kind of uncomfortable to wear because it feels weird, but this is actually what I think makes it look very like renaissance-y, capey, whatever. And then I thought I've got kind of curlier hair, very rapunzel -y. And I put this, I, I love a theme, you know? So I went with the theme. Yeah. I'm drinking a little bit of Slim Rosé. I, I know I have it almost every show, but I love it so much. That you, it's called Slim Rosé. Slim Rosé. You have a bouquet on your hand. Do you have I a corsage on your finger? <laughs> Go to the prom later. I have a vintage 1960s <laughs> ring on my finger. It's real subtle. That's all. <laughs> subtle. Nobody. I barely it's noticed. Very. You barely so you notice it. Notice it. You know what I love more than anything, <laughs> almost anything, is a cocktail ring, right? So you have, you're, you're having a conversation like, uh-huh. And then you just, it's just this big conversation piece on your drinking hand. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right. I appreciate that. Yeah. I also appreciate the fact that yeah. Mickey said that she's had a bottle of wine that she only drank half of. Weirdly enough, I've never seen a bottle of wine that I only had half of. Me it's too. Very, it's very rare. And I think what happened is that I was drinking that bottle by myself and then it got late because I tried to get my brother-in-law to drink it. And then he tried one sip and hated it. So we and so Josh, we that your brand you're drinking, Mickey, is pricey. I know oh, that brand. It's yeah, nice, that's a good nice brand. Uh, it's great. It's like it's middle shelf, you know. Oh, there, oh okay. <laughs> that's fancy. <laughs> that's fancy to me. Fancy to me. <laughs> I mean, it's not fifty dollars a bottle or anything, but it's a solid tenner, tenner to fifteen, I think, depending. Wow. I mean, you go to the wow. wine detail, you might get a twofer and you can she, get it. She is a legend now. She's, she's affording $12 legend prices. A yeah. Oh, yeah. she stepped it up. She, she stepped, stepped it up. It up. <laughs> I had a big <laughs> camera in Tonka. It was awesome. <laughs> I love yeah. that. Oh my God. I love you know what yeah. I was telling the, I, was, I was telling the girls jazz earlier about I remember when we were driving to the show um in, in Louisville. Um I I probably was God, I don't remember where we're going to Jonesboro, Arkansas, or something like that. And yep, we like bought Bumble that do you remember the yellow jacket um fat burners I bought? And I took it before our match. And you're not supposed to take fat yes. burners before matches. In the middle of the match, I said, I can't go, I can't. She goes, Oh, <laughs> we had to end it. We had to end it like that. Had to end it like 
just, what was, was happening like, to you? The, like, were you breathing was, out my high heart? Or? I was just, I, I couldn't breathe. And then Jazz goes, what was, what's wrong with you? You know, you're, I've never seen you like this. I go, I took those fat burners that we stopped at seven or at, you know, the gas station. <laughs> well, I she the, needed any, anything to give her energy. She didn't need I anything. Know. She was like, it's so weird. I snorted them. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Get it in there. Come on. What were I, the, uh, that, that's cool still, ones? the stingers? The yeah, that's the, the stingers. They have the stripes on the blue, the, 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 the yellow and black. And then the pink and black. Remember, they came out with the pink and black ones too. It was, oh, that was like cat? straight crack and a and a pill. I those things are I like they're, they're for truck drivers, drivers, right? To stay up. Aren't they for truck drivers yeah. to um stay up and drive like yes, 20 hours? Yes, they are. Yes. But can you guys imagine Lisa on those? Can you imagine Lisa nope. on she yellow jackets? No. no. Yeah. Take that yellow jacket <laughs> off, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it was awful. I had she was really. About that. Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> That's when then she was like, "You gotta settle down. Come on. All right, take a breath. I'm gonna come back to you, okay, baby? I'm gonna come back." To you. I'm like, yeah, it was crazy. Bless your crazy. heart. Do you want to know what I thought was a good? Oh, I'm sorry, but I didn't mean to cut you off, yeah, babe. But I was, you know what I thought was a really fun, unique um, reunion was that Chikara, the Queens of Combat thing that we did. Yeah. It's a promo that we, they were like, here, do this promo. We're all like, oh, okay. You, what do you want us to say? Uh, oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Give me the t-shirt. Okay. And we're like, we got this. Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag nailed yeah. It. And you can see, but, And you can see a picture of it right here. Right here on Ga. Oh my oh, God. Oh, I, yeah. I love that. I saw the promo. <laughs> yes. King of Trios. I still got my Queen of Trios t shirt. Yes. Too. I did too. I have yeah, mine. I did too. Too. That, event. that was a good reunion. Because I think that Jazz, you had yes. been wrestling for a while before that. That was one of your like first shows kind of back because you had been retired for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes, it was. Yeah. You could tell that midsection showed it, you know? No, not at all. The people, I think there, there was a moment backstage you were like, oh, it's cool to be back or whatever. And I was like, the people are going to freaking flip out that you're here. And you're like, oh, whatever. And they went ballistic. They did. They did. They did. I Girl. I, re I, we I was remember just happy to be there with you too. It was so fun. We remember, Jazz, remember um, you asked me, did you bring wine? <laughs> Evidently, yeah. I have a reputation. <laughs> Kind of girl. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then she goes, I, I think I need a drink because we were so nervous. We I still get nervous on indie shows too, just still still to this day. <laughs> and then and then Jazz and I, she goes, Who's next? Like when we were um we were on the, the apron like this watching you because you started the match, Mickey. And I remember Jazz going, Is this a singles match? Like when are we getting in? Are you next or am I next? I go, I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't know what's going on. Oh my God. Oh my God. It is kind of because it was a lie. Because remember the girls' bag, they just kept talking, and we're gonna and we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that and da 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 da. It was like, oh my all god, right. it was a lie. Settle down, Sanchez. Okay. It is. What funny. happened to call it a match? What happened to call it a match? We're so used to how we like would work, but like on some of those matches, especially indie style, sometimes it would feel like you would be in a tag match and it'd be two singles matches happening. I'm going like, what is happening? Like. It's a lot. Yeah. There's a Still lot of today. Lot of spots. Still today, it happens. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of spots. <laughs> well, one thing, one thing we all have in common is uh, Impact Wrestling. And we were doing a little bit of research and, and wanted to make sure that we talked about your current projects, Jazz. And yeah. we are so excited to hear about uh, Impact Wrestling, which we, at least I, always refer to still as TNA, but it's Impact Wrestling. That's an old school yeah. term. But tell us about yeah. how your time has been there recently and, and, and how the new generation is, is forming there. It's really exciting. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's, been, it's been fun. Um, I leave, I think, Tuesday to go back up for this month. Um, it was weird because I the Blue Dreamer called me. He was like, um, I hear you're retiring. I'm like, yeah. He was like, um, instead of announcing on a freaking podcast, you want to come on TV and announce it? I'm like, sure. So he's like, okay, let me get with um, with the office here and I get back with you. So he calls me back. He's like, yeah, you're going to have tag matches and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I I'm, thought I was, what? I thought I was retiring. <laughs> I'm like, Dreamer, I'm fat. I'm crippled. He's like, oh, I just thought you was retiring just to retire. I'm like, no, dude, I'm really freaking crippled. Like, my knees are gone. 
I can't run. I can't jump. I can't do anything. He was like, well, you'll be okay. So I went there and everything, all the girls was, of course, I know mostly all of them, you know, and and it was just really, really um, open their arms and very warm, you know, welcoming. And Gail was there. I haven't seen Gail in... Oh my God. We love Gail. 20 years. Well, I haven't worked. Oh my God, that long? 20 years. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, just to, you guys know, um, once you're on the indies for so long and you get to go on a bigger platform just to walk down the ramp, like it just gives you just a good, you know, it's such a good feeling. So, well, and honestly, I was if just, you're going to announce your retirement, and I think that, like, I feel like deservedly so, it should be on a platform that people, it sucks to have to, and I think in the middle of a pandemic where then you weren't even able to, like, do that last, like, hurrah of, like, okay, this is it. I'm not no. Gonna, like, this is it, because 2020 is, like, a just sucked for everybody. Like, it was just, yeah, I think <laughs> some really amazing things happened in 2020, but also on a professional level for a lot of people, it was just so rebranding and regrowing and, and switching it into a different direction because mm-hmm. I just think it's changing yeah. for everyone across the board so it's just like a everyone so crazy. redo yeah I need to redo. yeah right redo <laughs> over yeah it's been crazy so, we've been trying yeah, to stay you know, so being positive up there but... with the girls they were like so they were so cool they oh my god I love the moments after the show they have this thing called the um sidewall chronicles or something curbside curbside chronicles or something they have so after the show at the hotel all the girls meet on the sidewalk across from the hotel we're still in the parking lot of the hotel and they party up lisa like you're the only one girl that's your kind of party yeah. <laughs> that's shocking we were like, just saying the other day that Is all the like, girls <laughs> nowadays we go to the indie shows and stuff and they're all like oh, and they don't go out the hotel and nobody parties anymore not like when we say party just this we're not talking crazy yeah talking. Let's have some wine after the show and unwind, you know? Yeah. We, we were just saying that a lot of people in this generation, not to be like, hey, back in our day, but they don't they don't hang out. They don't have the camaraderie and the drinks no. anymore. That's a big they part of the like, bonding experience. Like the it sister is a bonding voice. experience. Yeah, yes. like ODB and I went back to OBW. Al Snow had her, her and I opposite t- sides tag teaming with their students, right? And um, we're like, well, where's everybody going afterwards? The only people that were out Jessica and I, ODB and I. Really? She goes, what <laughs> happened? Oh my, this is sad. The millennials, the our- millennials. <laughs> so weird. Wow, so they'd go back and play their gamers. Up and coming that you think they're, because there's a some really amazing talent there. Yeah, there are. There's some yes. really amazing talent there. Is there anyone that you see there that you're just like, oh, she gets it? Um. Oh, uh, Deanna. Deanna does get What's it. What's her name, Deanna Perazio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's fantastic. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's, yeah, yeah she's amazing. I, I really love her style of work. That's my brother in law. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. See, that's, <laughs> tell him to say hi. Tell him to say hi, your brother in law. He's hiding. Dom. Come tell in here, brother, brother. brother. Uh, Come in here. I, say, I'm always brother, ready to brother, brother, brother. Brother, brother. That's how old I am. Hey, brother, brother. <laughs> This is Jazz, Pushing Lisa, 35. And, and Val. What up? Say what's up? What's up? What's up, bro? Love. Yeah. Hey, I got a filter on, Sugar. Don't worry. It's a, ce- <laughs> <laughs> it's a celebrity cameo. Woo! A celeb cameo. Yeah. yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. We keep it in the family here, Jazz. Well, yes. final comments from you. We, we are so excited it. to we see that it. you're a part of Impact Wrestling. And obviously... We have that in common. We all support Impact Wrestling. We all love it. But what's up next for you, Jazz? What's coming up for you? Well, right now, I'm working on a few things. We have a wrestling school. There's uh, me, Rodney, and Thunder Rosa, our coaches there. Wow. Cool. We're having a blast with that. The Dog yeah. Pound Dojo in I San Antonio, Pound Jojo. Texas. We're doing the damn thing. Where is it? You Where know, we're, we're loving that. Where is it in Texas? San Antonio, Texas. <gasps> San Antonio. San Antonio. You moved to San Antonio then. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Remember, I saw you at the um the celebrity bowling gimmick. Yes. Yeah. I didn't realize that you guys were living yeah. living in San Antonio then. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, Jazz. Yeah. I 
I think of San Antonio as a kid. We used to go. I, I, I was born in El Paso, lived in Houston. Um, we went to, is it the candy barrel in San Antonio? Is that old? Is that kicking it old school? Do you know what that is? I'm not familiar with it. No, okay, it might be I'm old. not familiar yeah. at all. I bet you're familiar. All I hear about here is the Alamo. <laughs> the Alamo. Oh, I Taco Cabana. Yeah. I think Taco Cabana. I'm so jealous of you. Oh, Bill Miller's. I oh am my now hungry again. Damn it. I love, I love Thunder Rosa. Give her my love. I love her. I, I, yes, I will. I will. Yeah. So yeah, we're doing that. I'm also working with a company. I'm now working with, um, I don't know if y'all remember him, James Beard. He was a referee. He ref like in old NWA days, the the Von Eric days. Get that dog off my bed. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm working with him and uh, um and another guy by Tom Lance and Jason Jeff Jason. What is his name? Jason Jarrett is his name. And we're uh, working with a company called SWE Fury. And we're on um, CW, we're on wow. uh, Fight Network, we're on Title uh, Match um, Streaming Network. Um, Teddy Long's there, he's a general manager there. Teddy. Yeah, Teddy. Teddy. Mark Henry's on board. Um, Kevin oh my Sullivan. God. Kevin Sullivan oh, and I'm oh. over. I'm the women's uh, over the women's uh, division. That's awesome. The uh, director of women's division. Yeah, so wow. I'm helping them get all the women, helping them book the women, and and just making sure the talent is you know top notch. We're just trying to trying to make things happen. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Oh and I'm sure God. they're in amazing hands, obviously, with you at the helm there. Jazz, thank you for being here so much. We hate the end of the show, but it does have to come to an end at some point. We love you so much. We're hoping uh, the best for you and your family, staying safe during these crazy times. Cheers thank to you, you, my darling. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Love you, girls. Hey, don't be strangers. Nikki, no. Lisa, Val, don't yeah. be strangers, okay? My number okay. has never changed, and it probably will never change. I'm going to keep my number forever, just in case. That's so I like, see. Hey, what is this crazy? Is it a five? Is it do you do you have a 502 area code? Who or me? Area, yeah. No, I used to have a 502 area code. And so like yeah, I used to, not now. anymore. I have yeah. a Louisiana area code. Oh yeah. wow. Well, do you? That's the last I, one I saw you was in New Orleans, actually, at the Red Roof. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My with my babies, like, right? Yeah, she goes, he goes, Oh, I remember that. He goes, they were lovely. And he goes, her kids were so sweet, they were all shy, they were adorable. Yeah, oh, they're, they're so not anymore. Oh so, my goodness! Oh. About to be teenagers. Oh my god! Oh, three or so what? Nuts. It is scary. Huh? Yeah, it's scary, right? When you think yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah. They just turned twelve in November, so yeah. Well, oh, you know god. what's odd? What's Lisa, odd? I heard you say you're about to be fifty. I'm forty-eight, girl. Yeah, February ten, I turned fifty, and I'm like, when and when I hear my friends, all my 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 like well, all uh, our wrestling friends becoming moms and stuff like that it's odd to me because i still feel like that college kid going what do i want to do when i grow up what am i gonna do? where's the next party like i'm like <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm like going it's such yeah, a you're raising some amazing uh, little babies there 12 years old oh my god best wishes yes, to you and your family. You. stay oh safe during all this we love you so much thank you for paving you, the way for female wrestlers everyone that's watching you. knows what you've contributed to the business and we love you for it. we love you for being an amazing person cheers thank to you, you. Love, love, you. To, to, love you to carlene to carlene 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 carlene